Hello everyone, this is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. This week I went shopping at Hobby Lobby Tuesday morning and I stopped by Ross. I went to Hobby Lobby and picked up some necessary items. I also picked up items that I would like to own, like this clear stamp for example so this is by momenta and it is of the wooden slack see there like that and you see the background yeah my new favorite so it was $7.99 regular price you know since they changed their percentage sales I have yet to see clear stamps go on sale I could just be missing it and the same thing with Tim Holt products. I have not seen them go on sale. But I wanted this one. And it is uh, pocket cards. You get 55 pieces. And it was $6.49. And then these are all the cards you get in there. See there? So I thought I was prepared and I opened it. And then look at this. They're individually wrapped. So let me open these. I needed some cute cards for my current project is why I picked these up and I do like these you know they make uh, excellent cards and about the uh, front and back images look at this oh those are cute I was thinking it was all one-sided I should have known right it is a Tim Holt product <laughs> well now I take that back some of them do not. <laughs> They're just uh, like little pieces of a larger piece. You know, great uh, backgrounds or make great uh, ephemeras. I like this. You know, if you are a chance to pick up a paper pack from Tim Holtz, you can do the same thing with these. Just cut out um, a sheet. And, and then you just round the edges. But I was trying to save myself some time and and there was some uh, that pink flower in the front was what I needed. Look at this. There's more pieces in here. And then of course the bees. Kind of quick, quick flip. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Kind of like the larger image of everything I showed you, it looks like. See there? So if you don't want this side, you can just cover that up with a white sheet if you need to. Look at this one. That one's nice. And then if you don't care for the colors, you can always distress them, right? <laughs> but I love all the different, um, kind of like the mosaic patterns that Tim Holt does. I like that. So that I just picked up the one. Again. I also picked up um, some scissors. And this was also regular price at $6.99 and it is a non-stick blade coating with precision cutting and it does have that soft grip handle and it is a uh, five inch. I also went down the his and her aisle. So his and her aisle was on sale so like 40% off. And this one is regular price at $7.99. Let me see if I find the... Where is the ending? Oh, here. I like this one because I needed some sheer ribbon. But then this one already has like a lace attached. Look at that. Nice. Right? I like it. So this is wired. If you don't want the wire, you can just pull the wire off. Like if you just need this little piece right here, so you cut that off and then remove the wire, right? I like it. So I'm quite happy I found this. I I do shop the his and her aisle for like 
ribbons and laces and stuff. But I never paid attention to this one. So I don't know if they um, always had it and didn't see it or they found it somewhere and then stuck it on the shelf because it is dated 2018. It really should be 90% off, right? <laughs> I should take it back and say, hey, you sold me an item from 2018. I paid $4.79 for, for this ribbon. I stopped there looking for some paper, uh, you know, some cute stationery, but I didn't see any. So, but I did find this washi, and it was four thirty nine. Oh, there's my receipt. I was wondering where I put it. Yeah, I only picked up the one item. So I will check back next week. Maybe they'll have some some new paper in. How is this sealed in? Oh, here we go on the side. But I saw this uh, washi and I'm like, I have to have it. <laughs> it is by uh, Vicky Butin. Is that how you say her name? And you get eight washies. And it's fernwood. That must be like the, uh, like the theme, right? Maybe. So, yeah, see there? Look at this. I love the colors. They're just so cute. So, I brought it home with me. I'm waiting for the Tim Holt washies to show up because I need some more. You know, you can never have enough uh, Tim Holt washies. <laughs> I also stopped by Ross. I have been on the hunt for some new crafting scissors. So last week when I went Hobby Lobby didn't have these uh, these paper scissors, the precision one. So I went to uh, check at uh, Ross before I even went to Hobby Lobby. So I found um, some goodies. <laughs> and this is a, a 10 pack of brushes. And it's for watercolor, acrylics, and tempera. And it was only $2.99. Look at that. Isn't that a fantastic price? I couldn't believe it. It's cheaper than uh, Tuesday morning. And even cheaper than um, like if you went to Dollar Tree and you bought these four and then this four. And you know what I mean? So I, I fell in love and I picked up the blue set. If they had another blue set, I would have picked up a second one. But you know, only found the one. And then I found these paper doilies. Look at this. They're metallic silver. You get 25 of the 8 inch and 25 of the 6 inch. So this one I found down the paper crafting aisle. But then I also went down like the bakery aisle. And they also have some down the bakery aisle. They get different colors like... Uh, the pinks, the reds, um, gold, if you need a gold heart, Ross would be the place to go. Oh, look. It, it, like, it's like a foil because this one bent back. Let me see if I can. Let me, let me peel this apart. It's almost like a foil because see how it bends back? I love the way it embossed. Guys can see that. See the hearts going all the way around? How cute! I love this. I've yet to see a silver or a gold doily of any kind. So I was happy to find these in the heart shape. I wish they had the circle ones too. I would have certainly bought those too. But yeah, this is a nice quantity of doilies. And I will add this to my projects for... Well, you know what? I can use it whatever I want. That's the great thing about doilies. They're not limited to seasons. And then I found these scissors too. Look. It's the Westcott scissors. And it's titanium bonded. And this is the three times harder than steel. So I, where did I see? I went to Michael's and I went to... At Hobby Lobby and those compare pricing scissors and then I went to Walmart so 
this is a very good buy at $6.99 for two because um, most places I went to you can get only one scissors one eight inch scissor for like $21.99 <laughs> so this is like a really good buy if you guys need like a nice quality scissors this would be a place to go this is what I need when I do my pom-poms uh, this will be wonderful to use because it is like a it's heavy duty my scissors now is just a crafting scissors like for fabrics my big ones but this one you can like double layers and it probably cuts really well like on denim too so anyhow I picked it up and it, it is for uh, left-handed and right-handed which is another plus because you know if you buy left-handed scissors the prices go up <laughs> and then I found these markers it is by pencil star you get 24 fine line markers and it was $4.99 I forgot I picked these up this is just um, gift tissue and it's eight count and this is from Hobby Lobby and it was regular price at 99 cents I picked up the, the dark gray and the light gray and I plan on using this in a project soon and I I realized I didn't have any gray uh, tissue paper in my in my supply box so I went ahead and picked these up I also picked this up this is the modeling paste and I picked up the eight fluid out they have a larger size too if you need it but I this is the only one they had in stock so it was $8.99 and these were on sale uh, at 40% off so I paid $5.39 and that's the um, the other three items I picked up from Hobby Lobby that is everything that I picked up this week I had a very successful shopping trip and yeah I am, I'm really happy I found my precision scissors I will be putting those to use very very soon I have my new favorite washies <laughs> and of course I have my new background I, I really like that quite happy to add that to my collection well thank you for stopping by this is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas and I will see you next time <music>